And today we're going to be checking out this heavy duty jump starter. And the reason why I say it's heavy duty is this can jump off up to 10 liter engines and diesel trucks as well. It's going to put out, I think it's around 5,000 amps. But we will double check that to verify the actual amps it is. And the way we're going to test it is I'm going to actually disconnect one battery on my diesel truck. It's a 24 volt system. And we're going to put this in where the second battery should be and see if it gives enough power to turn this old truck over and it is a 7.3 liter diesel motor so let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick it does come with this nice carrying case and the top and the little mesh section up here you have your actual little jump cables right here you will get a USB, the USB Type-C charge cord. It does take four or five hours to fully charge. You will get a manual. And I wanted to check the specs real quick for you in the manual. It is a 74 watt hour battery, 12 volt, 5,000 amps. I did remember correctly. The USB, it does have two USBs on it. They put out five volts at three amps. And then the USB number two puts out five volts at three amps, nine volts at two amps. 12 volts at one and a half amp and then it has a USB type C that you can charge through but it also puts out 5 volts at 3 amps 9 volts at 2 amps and 12 volts at 1.5 amps charging time is 4 to 8 hours not 4 to 5 hours and the starting voltage is 12 volts so that's to get all the hard specs out of the way this is what the actual device looks like very sleek very modern looking it does have a built-in flashlight. The port on this side right here is the one that you flip up to connect your jump starter to, and I'll show you that in just a second. And then the one on this side over here, this is your USB high output, your standard USB, and then this is your, your USB type C. And then on top is your power button. And you probably can't see the display, but it does display the percentage charge, and it is 100%. And if you wanna turn on the flashlight, you just hold down the power button, and the flashlight will turn on, and then you have strobe, SOS mode, and then off. So, the way that you connect the jump starter is you open up the port, it's got a little car on the cover right there, and then you just simply plug this in, just like that. You have a little red-green LED in there flashing, and then you connect it to your battery and I'll show you that. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. So this is my negative terminal. You can see I've disconnected it because this is how we're gonna test it. And I'm gonna connect this right here to that terminal. And then I'm gonna connect this to the positive terminal, just like so. I have no idea if this is actually gonna work or not, but we're definitely going to try it. So let me get this read. Position. I hope it doesn't fall over because the engine will shake whenever I try to crank it up. And now I'm going to go turn the truck over. And there you have it. The device started up this old Ford truck big diesel motor minus a battery with no issues whatsoever. How cool is that? And for those wondering if I could start the truck on just one battery, here is your answer. The battery is still disconnected. Let's try to crank the truck again. It turns, but doesn't turn over fast enough. So if you're looking for a reliable jump starter that's gonna put out a ton of power, it's going to act as a backup battery supply in case you need to charge your phone or a device. It's great to keep in your car. I highly recommend these. They can get you out of a pinch. Not only can you recharge your phone, you can run lights. You can recharge your kids' devices on vacations. It's a power bank and a jump starter. I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.